Phishing is one of the top cyber crimes, and people who may not be as computer savvy are definitely vulnerable to these kind of attacks. So I just want to share with you a phishing email that I recently received where the sender presented themselves as Netflix, trying to get my username and password. And hopefully this will give you or, or other people in your life an idea of how to spot a phishing email. Before I start, there's several characteristics of phishing emails, which you'll see up on the screen. I'll point some of these out as we look at the email. So let's take a look at this email. Now, inside my iPhone, you'll notice that there's a message that comes from Netflix, and there's that sense of urgency saying that my account has been suspended. So when I click on the email, sometimes phishing emails are, are very obvious. This one is, is fairly decent. You'll notice that the Netflix logo is there. Now, it is somewhat poorly worded. You can see it says, we're having some trouble with your current billing information. Would you like to retry running your card again? That wording probably is not going to come from a corporate site, but whatever. Um, some other things at the bottom you notice is that they listed the correct address for Netflix, uh, the address that's currently listed on Google. So this kind of looks like a semi-legitimate email, but if I click at the top, Netflix ID is kind of a strange sender name. So if I click on that Netflix ID, You'll notice that the sender, while the name says Netflix ID, you can see that this email is just a whole bunch of characters at oracle.com, which tells me that it was automatically created. Okay, the other thing that you'll notice, um, and I'm not going to be able to do this now, but if I click on update payment account, it's going to take me to a site probably one where it asks me to enter information. Now, if you're on an iPhone, there's a pretty good chance that you'll be okay as long as you don't enter any information. If you're on a regular laptop or desktop, sometimes when you click on links, it will generate automatic attacks to your account. Um, but like I said, if you don't click on that link, you should be okay. But what you can do when this happens, number one, don't click on that link. If you do click on the link, definitely don't enter any personal information, okay? The other thing that you can do is, in this case, most companies that have um, that are prone to phishing attacks will allow you to have an email that you can report it to. So you can send this email to phishing at netflix.com and they will at least be aware of it. And then the third thing you can do is once you have an email inside your inbox that you know is phishing, just go ahead and delete that email. So hopefully this helps you or maybe someone in your life who may not be that computer savvy is susceptible to attacks like this in emails. Hopefully this helps being able to not only distinguish some of the features of this Netflix phishing scam, but also phishing emails in general.